A giant, slender-waisted wasp attacked a girl on a deserted island. Its sharp tail stinger penetrated her body, and it brought her back to her nest to lay her eggs using her body. On the opposite side of the island, the girl went to the bushes to relieve herself. Suddenly, a butterfly larger than a man appeared in front of her. What's even scarier is that the butterfly extended its mouthpiece and inserted it into her mouth. In an instant, the girl was drained of all her fluids and turned into a corpse. Four hours earlier, a plane full of students crashed suddenly. Matsumi woke up and found herself on a deserted island, surrounded by luggage and body parts scattered all over the place. Upon realizing the situation, Matsumi ran ahead to search for her classmates. On her way, she met Matsuoka, the captain of the school softball team, and they decided to search for the survivors together. At that moment, a scream drew the attention of all the survivors. Upon reaching the source of the cry, they saw a giant butterfly attacking a girl who was trying to escape. She was instantly sucked into a dry body by the butterfly. At that moment, the butterfly attacked Mimi, and the two male students immediately rushed to her aid. But this also caught the attention of the phoenix butterfly, and they were instantly killed by the butterfly. As an expert in insects, Mimi was taken aback. She had never seen such a large phoenix butterfly before. The first priority was to save Narus the squad leader who was pinned down by the butterfly. Mamie used insecticide and a lighter to successfully kill the butterfly, and the group was saved. Despite the phoenix butterfly being repelled, there are creatures on this isolated island that are even more terrifying than the phoenix butterfly. All the survivors gathered together, thinking of ways to survive and waiting for rescue. That's when they heard the sound of a helicopter. They all believed that if they found the sound, they would be saved. But what they found was a giant wasp. Naruz, the class leader, was captured by a giant wasp while trying to rescue Matsumi. The group was divided on whether to save Naruz or not. Matsumi knew the habits of the slender-waisted wasps. They would capture their prey and bring them back to their nest, where they would lay eggs inside the victim's body. The eggs would hatch in three days, and the larvae would then feed on the victim alive. It was imperative to save her, but Koji stopped her. However, Matsumi informed them that Narusa's phone had GPS and only by obtaining it could they determine the approximate location of the mutated insect. With this information, their chances of survival would greatly improve. So they all went together to search for the slender, wasted wasp's nest and rescue Narus. They soon discovered the wasp's nest. The entire house in front of them was a hive, but they had to enter the dangerous house in order to save the people. The stench of decay was permeating the air. They opened the room, but they were stunned by what they saw. The people in the room were all passengers on the same plane. Millions of giant worms were devouring their bodies. Koji and Misuzu immediately attacked the larvae, but this only added to their companion's suffering. Upon seeing this scene, Koji ran away in horror and everyone followed him out of the room. While they were still discussing a course of action, Kazuhiko found Narius's phone, but then a giant slender-tailed wasp appeared. If they had remained still, the wasp would not have noticed them, but Koji spotted his brother Koda being captured by the giant wasp. Ignoring his companion's protests, Koji immediately rushed into the house to save Koda. Upon hearing Koda's voice, they immediately opened the door. While searching for Koda, the giant wasp also approached them. At a critical moment, Matsumi used insecticide to save Koji. Although Koda was saved in the end, Matsumi also found Narus. But Matsumi was too weak to carry Narus out. Koji ignored Matsumi and ran out of the house. In a moment of crisis, the giant wasps started fighting with each other. It turns out that at Matsumi's request, his companion poured detergent on the house. This caused the giant bees to have a different scent, so they killed each other. That's when Matsuka appeared and assisted Matsumi in carrying Narus. The two rescued individuals were unconscious due to toxicity and required immediate saline solution. Matsumi told everyone not to use cosmetics or other items on the island. The smell will attract a lot of mutant insects. The crowd agreed with Matsumi's viewpoint. Matsumi's knowledge of insects allowed them to survive until now. At that moment, Mamie pointed at Misuzu's back with a horrified expression. It was a tick that was larger than a fist. They broke into a tick's nest. At any moment, they could be overrun by a large number of ticks. Matsumi instructed everyone to control their breathing and slow their heart rate. Then he threw a stone in the direction of the ticks as bait. Just when everyone thought the danger had passed, a familiar figure appeared in front of them. It was their art teacher. The teacher's face was covered in mutant ticks. 
the crowd was stunned by the teacher's appearance. Mamie screamed in fear. The ticks nearby were drawn to the sound. It appeared that everyone was about to be overrun by ticks. Matsumi knocked down the art teacher, attracting all the attention of the ticks, while the others ran to safety. Soon the teacher was overwhelmed by the swarm of ticks. They were thus saved. Everyone took a break at the beach at night. Koda's body appeared to have been invaded by a strange worm that was slowly wriggling inside his body. The group visited the island's only hospital and placed their poisoned companion on a bed. They found a large amount of saline solution in the hospital and were preparing to give it to the poisoned individual, but he did not respond. In the end, they had to use mouth-to-mouth -mouth resuscitation to get him to drink the saline solution. Kazuhiko found the hospital's control center and, although the computer was not connected to the internet, he successfully restored the hospital's backup power. They also found food in the hospital. There was food and electricity available. But why isn't anyone around? Could something have gone wrong? Kazuhiko uncovered something shocking during his search. At the same time, Koda woke up. The awakened Koda was very strange. His eyes were bulging out, and he was doing strange things. Before anyone could react, he ran out and climbed the tower. Koji attempted to rescue him, but Matsumi stopped him. He was informed that Koda's body had been infested with a parasite. He was now calling out to the object that had preyed on him. A giant lacewing appeared in front of him. It is a type of insect that feeds on body fluids. Koda was directly killed by it. Misuzu and Koji entered the house and locked the door. Misuzu raised his middle finger to provoke everyone. In a moment of crisis, the door suddenly opened. They were saved. Kazuhiko knocked them out and tied them up. The giant lacewing had to abandon its target and climb to the top of the roof. Just as everyone thought the crisis was over, the giant lacewing started to hit the building. At that moment, Matsumi came up with an idea. She wanted to use insect's preference for light to create a trap. Since it will be dawn soon, she must hasten to finish it now. Matsumi first asked her companions to take down all the curtains. Then she asked Kazuhiko to control the power output of the lights on the electric tower. She moved on quietly and alone. She climbed to the top of the electrical tower and set up everything. Then she turned on the siren. She used herself as bait to attract the giant lacewing. Then she quickly ran towards the tower, uncovering the cloth covering the light. The giant lacewing was instantly attracted to the light. At that moment, Kazuhiko increased the power output. After a burst of electricity, the giant lacewing was successfully killed. The hospital's backup power was depleted as well. They had to leave the area because the light just now will surely attract countless mutant insects. But there are still two days before the rescue team arrives. Can they survive? If you also like, help give a compliment. See you in the next video.